Welcome to tonight's class of standard code. Here, the chapter number one, building with phrase. In this chapter, we have seen in earlier video place value and place value, a buckles, ascending and descending order. Now we will see about break. Here we can see the shape of the break. Here the whole shape of the break is cuboid. And see how many sides are there in this break. There are six sides are there in this break. Top, bottom and the side view. So it is six sides are there. How many corners are there in this break? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 corners are there. Now edges. How many edges are there? 12 edges are there. You can see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. 12 edges are there. In your textbook there are patterns are given. You can see here. This is the tomb of Murshid Kuli Khan. In this tomb, different patterns are shown. You can see behind also few patterns are given. Okay, this type of different patterns they are uh, making with the use of bricks. They are arranging in a different pattern. Okay, from this we'll see the sum. This we have to solve method. Okay. First I will read it. What is the cost of 200 breaks? If each break cost is rupees 1. Each break cost is rupees 1. What we have to find out? Cost of 200 breaks. So we will multiply with 1. So we will get the cost of 1 break. Sorry, cost of 200 breaks. Cost of 1 break is given. So it is 200. What is the cost of 100 breaks? If each break cost is rupees 5. What is the cost of 100 breaks? If each break cost is rupees 5. So now we multiply with 5. So it is 500. So, cost of 100 break. What is the cost of 100 break? So, cost of 100 break is 500. Next is, if the cost of 200 break is 600. So, what is the cost of 1 break? What we have to find out? Cost of 1 break. The cost of 200 break is given 600. So, here we divide 600 divided by 200. So, answer is rupees 3. So, cost of 1 brick is rupees 3. Okay, now we will see the word problem. Okay, now we will see the word problem. Here I have written the question. First I will read and then I will explain you. Word problem. First one. One truck carries 2500 bricks and second truck carries 3500 breaks. How many total breaks are there in both the trucks? There are two trucks. In first one, one first truck carry 2500. So now we solve it. Answer breaks carried by first truck equal to 2500. And in the second truck, breaks carried by second truck equal to 3500 number of bricks is 3500 and the question is how many total bricks are there in both the truck so here we write total bricks equal to 2500 plus 3500 so we will get 6000 bricks so here we write the final answer. There are 6000 breaks in both the trucks. Clear? I know this is clear to you. In first truck there are 2500 breaks. And in the second truck 3500 breaks are there. Here 
have to find out how many total bricks are there in both the trucks. So we get the answer 6000 bricks are there in both the trucks. Now see the second one. First I will read the question. There are 1500 bricks in one truck and 4500 bricks in another truck. What is the difference between the number of bricks in both the truck? What we have to find out the difference between the number of bricks in the truck. So here first we write number of bricks in first truck equal to how many are there? 1500. Okay. And number of breaks in second truck equal to 4500. Okay. Now we will find out the difference. So the difference between the number of breaks.